For the second straight day, protests erupted airports across the country, including our own Metro Airport. The demonstration out at Metro Airport, one of the largest we have seen since President Trump signed that executive order on Friday. And that order banned entry from seven Middle Eastern countries. Local 4's Rod Maloney is live at Metro Airport, where protesters jammed the terminals. Rod. Yeah, the protest is over now, but it was impressive by sheer numbers. Thousands of people came from all over the state and even the region to take part in this rally against the president. The Michigan Women's March posted a Facebook invitation Saturday, got a permit allowing 2,000 people to protest. No hate, no fear. And by 4 p.m., more than five times that number showed up, filling five different McNamara terminal locations with full-throated anger. Howard Brick of Ann Arbor railed against the president in the second floor baggage claim area. That is despicable. I believe it is profoundly undemocratic. Ella Marie Schroeder drove down from Midland, standing outside in the arrivals level. The government has gone crazy. It's so, tar it's so totally un-American. On the departures level outside, thousands more strained barriers, traffic snarled, and extra police did their best to control the crowd. The Michigan Muslim Council also helped organize Fatima Salman, is the spokesperson. We have to start becoming a community of people helping one another. This, what he's doing, is only further isolating everybody. And that's not going to help our problem at all. The problem is unfettered immigration that could lead to terrorism, says the president. Donna and Dusty Rhodes of Highland believe he went too far. I could support vetting as long as it was reasonable. And I think that we, that probably everyone here could. But you don't just lay down a law one night and refuse pe uh, people's entry to the United States with green cards and with visas. Our grandsons were born in Yemen. Now, Yemen is one of the seven countries on the president's uh, executive ban here. It includes Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Syria as well. The president did respond to these protests tonight on Facebook. Here's part of what he said. This is not about religion. This is about terror and keeping our country safe. There are over 40 different countries worldwide that are majority Muslim that are not affected by this order. We will again be issuing visas to all countries once we are sure we have reviewed and implemented the most secure policies over the next 90 days. 90 days is a long time, and certainly there could be more protests on the horizon if, in fact, this continues to, br to brew. Back to you. Yeah, Rod, clearly traffic had to be an issue out at the airport this afternoon, but uh, did the rally disrupt airport operations? Yes, well, you know, here's the thing, Steve. This was so big that a lot of the lanes out into the, into the airport here were down to two or even one lane. And then, of course, moving around inside the terminal was very difficult either. In fact, most of the baggage claim area on the second floor was packed. We know that one of our photographers sat for more than two hours in traffic out here. He initially saw people with protest signs walking up, but then after a while, he started seeing people pulling their baggage behind them, trying to get in because he never even made it up here to the, uh, the tarmac here, to the arrivals level where we are now, uh, sitting in that traffic jam for two hours. So there are probably a lot of people who did not make a plane that they were hoping to catch. Yeah, I bet that's the truth. All right, thank you, Rod. Rod